Good afternoon, Blazers, and welcome back to Info Flow from Home. Today is Monday, November 23rd, and I'm Sam. And I'm Emmanuel. In local news, Montgomery County has reached 30,298 confirmed cases of COVID-19 and 878 deaths as of Friday, November 19th. In Thanksgiving news, did you know that more than 45 million years of evolution separate the turkey and the chicken? Not to mention that turkeys can run up to 25 miles per hour and fly up to 55 miles per hour. Wow, that is so cool. Seniors, check out your senior t-shirt design. Don't forget to order yours and submit your information for your cap and gown as well at mbhs.edu. The deadline is December 1st. Let's find out how animal shelters are handling COVID and making sure that animals still find homes. During COVID-19, shelters in and outside of Maryland have been severely hit. We're limiting the number of people who can be in our buildings at any one time. And so obviously that limits uh, the amount of animals that we can provide care to. This has caused quite a holdup in terms of people looking to adopt, like Rachel Schaefer. I went through 10 months of trying to get a dog. Due to COVID precautions, the public is no longer allowed to visit the inside of the animal shelters. However, shelters are looking into alternative options. Um, so we started a program on Fridays called Fun for a Friday and anybody can zoom in and for 30 minutes we just show fosters and adopters. We have an online adoption portal where basically you go to mdspca.org slash adopt and you can see all of the animals who are currently up for adoption. Additionally, the final exchange of the animals is done socially distanced. For instance, with a dog, we will have a 10 foot leash so that we're not within six feet of each other. Given all of these extra measures, the original thought was that shelters would be less busy. However, this is the opposite of the case. The animals we do have are going very quickly, I mean, honestly, as quickly as I've ever seen them go. You know, while everyone's at home doing virtual school and a lot of people are working remotely, it's just like a really good time for people to adopt pets. And the adoptions of the animals are not the only thing that people have taken to. Because everybody was home, um, lots of people signed up to be foster homes. Um, in just a few weeks, we had a thousand applications. One of the dangers of this massive increase in adoptions is the possible returning of animals once the COVID situation dies down. It's always a risk during any temporary situation that you're going to see returns. And so what we try to do is just get on the same page with uh, potential adopters. So far, shelters have not seen higher rates of animals returned but they're keeping an eye on it and watching it closely. For BNC, I'm Sammy Fry. Adopting a pet during quarantine must be very exciting. Key Club is looking for new members. Key Club is a student-led organization fostering leadership skills through local and community service. They will have their first meeting at lunch on December 3rd. To join or learn more, direct message their Instagram account at mbhskeyclub underscore. Do you like theater? Do you want to hone your leadership skills? Then you should apply to join the Playset Theater production team. Playset Theater is a student-led community theater group that puts on yearly performances in a public park for local families. Playset Theater is looking for juniors, sophomores, and freshmen interested in directing, managing, and writing to become part of the Playset family. To apply, fill out the form in this link below. Any questions, email playsettheater at gmail.com. They hope to hear from you soon. Are you interested in a $10,000 college scholarship? The American Leadership Foundation has opened up applications for this year's scholarship competition for all Blair seniors. The application is due February 7th and is available at the website below. There will be a Chipotle fundraiser for the freshman class council today from 4 to 8 p.m. at the Four Corners Chipotle. Mention Blair's freshman class council, or if you are ordering online, use the code A4B3LTJ to give our freshman class 33% of the profits. Now, let's say hey as we listen to the marching band's rendition of Hey Ya.
What a talented group. As we head into Thanksgiving break and prepare to celebrate the interaction between Native Americans and the pilgrims that helped to establish the U.S., we must recognize the history of discriminatory and violent treatment of indigenous people in this country. We recognize over 5,000 known cases of missing and murdered indigenous women who are murdered at a rate 10 times higher than other ethnicities. Roughly 84% of native women have experienced violence in their lifetime. If you would like to contribute to the cause and help protect indigenous women, check out any of these resources. Screenshot or take a picture to save. That's all for today's show. Check out our website at bnconline.net to submit announcements and follow us on Instagram at bnc.infoflow and on Twitter at BNC Blair. We'll be back next time with the latest edition of InfoFlow from Home. Remember to wash your hands, avoid touching your face, and follow social distancing guidelines. Stay safe, Blazers.